Uranus is a weirdo, and so are its rings. In this video, we're gonna visit Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun, to see what's so unique on this planet, why it's called a weirdo, and what's wrong with its rings. So fasten your seatbelts, cause I'm ready to push the red button. Uranus is not visible to the naked eye, and that's why it was the first planet discovered with the use of a telescope, all because of its low brightness. You all may know Saturn for its beautiful rings. Someone still thinks it's a big solid hoop rotating around the planet. But Saturn is not the only planet in the solar system circled by rings. We have Uranus circled by 13 rings. William Herschel, who was the English astronomer, was first to mention of a Uranian ring system in his notes. It was back in the 18th century, and then, only in the 20th century, using one of the two Keck telescopes in Hawaii, astronomers confirmed Herschel's words about the rings. So, this discovery spilled previously unknown details when they photobombed a thermal image astronomers took of the ice planet. But these images show that this planet is not so simple as others. In short, the planet turned out to be a weirdo. In planetary perception and conception, of course. For the first time, researchers have determined the temperature of the rings and confirmed that the main ring, called the Epsilon Ring, is like none other in the solar system. This ring is the densest and the brightest among the others, and it's also pretty cold. The temperature of the ring is 77 degrees above absolute zero. To feel this on yourself, it's about minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 196 degrees Celsius, which is not the best temperature for a human body. Usually, Saturn is the only one pictured with rings, because the ones circling Uranus, Jupiter, and Neptune can only be seen with such great device like powerful telescopes. So scientists know that Jupiter has four rings, Neptune has five, when it comes to Uranus, it has 13. But it's not so easy to explain the origin of these rings as it was with the previous planets. The rings around Uranus reflect very little light in the optical and near-infrared wavelengths, typically used for solar system observations. And yet technology is always being advanced. But the universe is not ready to conform to your demands. When Voyager 2 flew past Uranus in 1986 and took a bunch of happy snaps, scientists back home noticed that the rings seemed to be missing something. Planetary rings are made from the solar system's crumbs, whether from former asteroids getting sucked in by the planet's gravity, shards from moon collisions, or even the leftover scraps from the formation of the solar system. In Saturn's rings, the particles run the full-size gamut, from powdery dust to chunky boulders. Jupiter and Neptune both have very dusty rings, composed mostly of fine particles. Meanwhile, Uranus has sheets of dust between its rings, but the rings themselves only contain chunks upwards the size of a golf ball, which is strange. Something has been sweeping the smaller stuff out, or it's all glumming together. But scientists just don't know the answer, because history is another mystery. One of the possible sources of formation the rings include impact eject from moons, like seen in Jupiter's rings. Uranus is much bigger than Earth, it's rather much similar in composition to Neptune, so it has three moons. All are frozen worlds with dark surfaces. The most noted one is Miranda, which has ice canyons, terraces, and other strange-looking surface areas. After colliding, the moons probably broke up into many particles, which survived as narrow and optically dense rings, only in strictly confined zones of maximum stability. But the mechanism that confines the narrow rings is not well understood. But besides moon's impact, there are other explanations on what served to form these rings. Like asteroids captured by the Uranus gravity, then somehow pulverized or debris left over from the planet's formation or debris from the theorized impact that literally knocked the planet sideways. Scientists like to come up with theories and then solve them, but the most likely explanation for the formation of these rings is solid orbiting objects, destroyed either by impacts or tidal forces. Anyway, but this confusion is just a step toward understanding their composition and whether all of the rings came from the same source material or they are different for each ring. But that's not the only confusion on this planet. According to images in near-infrared taken using the Keck Observatory in 2004, the very composition of the rings around Uranus is different from others. So, scientists found another area for theories. But we gotta hand it to them, though. They discovered that the rings are also extremely narrow compared to the rings of Saturn. For example, the widest ring, or the Epsilon Ring, varies from 20 to 100 kilometers wide, whereas Saturn's are hundreds or tens of thousands of kilometers wide. So, even having the stunning new pics, the rings are still remaining a big mystery. 
but a mystery that may have more clues soon when the James Webb Space Telescope, with its state-of-the-art observation tech, hits the sky in 2021. I've listed not all the strange features of Uranus. For example, the fact of being tipped over on its side with an axial tilt of 98 degrees makes this planet not the ordinary as well. That's why it's described as planet rolling around the sun on its side, because it rotates in a retrograde direction, opposite to the way Earth and most other planets turn. Yeah, what a weirdo. But maybe our bit cynical view of the universe is a reason why aliens tend to fly to crazy people than to real scientists. I guess it's all because of the Hollywood cause. No one can hear you scream there in space and all that stuff. Share this video with your friends. And if you like, just write a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe on this channel to see more interesting videos. See you guys.